Hello. Hey, what's up, babe? I was gonna ask you if you want me to get turkey bacon. Yeah, get some turkey bacon. What's going on with y'all, man? It's your boy, Tell, and we are back with another episode of Televisions, man. We are in a different location. <laughs> we are at my shorty's crib. I feel like we're entering the fourth quarter at a good pace. I've been really working on my strobe photography with film. And I've been getting better and better, yo. Um, and it's just been taken with practice, right? So Y'all have been with me since I've been shooting continuous. And I just started that freshly. So I haven't really shot film so much without natural light. So so using artificial light initially was a little challenge for me, but now we starting to get a hang of it. So, so within that, lay down, stop, lay down. So within learning how to use lights with film, it's been a challenge. But um, with practice, that was easily, easily, easily diminished. I just been really studying on YouTube. I just been really watching other people, seeing how they play with strobes. Mike Gray was a dope person who I was checking out to a lot. Cause he used continuous before, but he used his strobes a lot. I never overexposed by one stop, so my photos would come out dark. The thing is, I've been shooting digital uh, in studio since 2017. So I already kind of know how to shoot basic lighting. I know how to shoot uh, with different colors. I've been learning with different gels. So now it's just really transitioning that to film. And y'all gonna see, man, the improvements is crazy. I'm all ready to get y'all a rundown, man. So I bought a box of Ektachrome 100. That's been one of my favorite film stocks recently. But the only thing is, in today's video, I started off with Ektachrome, and then when I was loading this film, I didn't fully uh, assemble the back on properly. So when I started shooting, my shit was just rolling. And then um, because I was winding and it was winding for a long time uh, and it had the S on the RB67, if you have one, y'all can relate. But it just kept winding and kept winding. I was like, what's going on? But um, basically it was just winding the film. And then when I was shooting, it stopped at five. So, so now since we sell film at the studio, I was able to get some Porsche 400, even though I was really looking for some Porsche 160, but we ran out for 120. So. I was like, I just, I, I just roll with that. So, but it did the job. It did the job. Y'all gonna see. So this is the mood board right here. I really enjoy the white and black images. So that's what we gonna kind of start off with in this first set. So within the white and black images, it was just some nice portrait work. And I always wanted to just do some simple portraits on the RB67. I never just do it on a tripod on some simple stuff. So. I wanted to try that, so I was like, why not? And uh, she gave this dope look. I really love her haircut, bro. Her haircut is so dope. <laughs> so I thought it was perfect. Um, and we just got a variety of different looks. Um, her looking away from the light, looking towards the light, her using her hands, uh, just using and just using the chair, but also herself, um, different strings of instruments, you know, just playing. Uh, she was really just playing uh, by off the inspo, but also too just really flowing through it. And I was just capturing as we was maneuvering. So with this mood board, I really wanted to use this couch as an instrument like this girl did. So we brought a couch in and y'all gonna see that shortly too. So within this lighting setup, it was pretty simple. I had just two lights um, at a 45 degree angle. I had the chair all the way back towards the backdrop because I wanted to make sure I get a shadow and I put a reflector at the bottom left. So these are the photos that came out. So this part of the So this part of the shoot is my favorite part, and it's when uh, we bring the couch into play. So 
Uh, my favorite color is blue. And the funny thing is I asked her what's her favorite color because that's how I was going to determine what gel I would use. And she said the same thing. I really liked what fit she had on. It was something simple. It was these black baggy jeans with this white top. And I really like the color of the uh, couch. I really like the blues that we use. So we took advantage of that with the couch. Uh, it gave this, it was like this grayish bluish cover on it. Um, and I just like how it was just like this modular contemporary look. And it didn't, it wasn't distracting at all. So I wanted to have her definitely lying on the couch. So some of these shots give me like magazine cover. R&B album cover vibes, like especially the ones when she was just laying on the back with her hands, uh, with her, especially the ones when she was laying on her back with her uh, thumbs in the loops of her jeans. I really enjoy those. Like, them was some hitters. And then I definitely wanted to get some uh, with her looking at the camera. Uh, so I could definitely get some vibes with her dope haircut. So to achieve some of these dope shots, I was able to use a ladder. So I'm really into using different angles. I really like using high angles, low angles, uh, just something that's more uh, different from a regular approach. I like doing stuff that's a little bit more stylistic. I say that is kind of like my high when it comes to um, shooting photography, like being able to figure out different looks within different compositions because I'm such a film head, I'm such a film geek, so uh, even being able to manipulate and play with that in photography, that's something that I really enjoy. So y'all check out these last photos for me. I appreciate y'all for staying until the end of this video, man. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe if you are new. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I will be having more videos like this. And let me know in the comments if y'all like this video or any other videos y'all like to see me do. Without further ado, man, I'm out here, yo. Peace.